Hey, hello and welcome to this Joomla tutorial video. Today we're going to be reviewing how to set up a payment plan. So once you've created your seasons, I'm going to go into this fall season and you would go to setup and then finally go to payment plans and you can create a new payment plan from this plus sign. So the idea of the payment plan is you can decide to collect perhaps a deposit at a time of registration and then break up, break the future payments into installments. And you'll have a variety of different ways on how you can set this up. So starting from the top, you'll give your uh, payment plan a name. If you want to display this name to your users, you can check this box. This just means that when they see it uh, as part of the registration, they'll see exactly that name that you've just created. Um, you can also disable the pay in full option if you just want to make this installment the, the only way to, to check out. <clears throat> uh, following through, you have what we call stat static installments. This is where you will define how many installments you want to use. Let's say here under installments, I select, uh, I'll, I'll say I want to do two uh, installments or I want to say two, three installments. So it depends on, on your display. So in this case, I'm going to choose deposit plus two installments. That means that now you'll individually choose what are the due dates for those installments. And you'll be able to pick the specific dates. The alternative, and this one is specifically if you're using our camps where you might have multiple weeks and now you just want to charge uh, for the weeks that are upcoming. So it's a slightly uh, different format. So let's say you have uh, four weeks of camp. Each week will have its own installment um, automatically taken. Next, you'll define what's your deposit amount. It can be a fixed or a percentage. Um, you can also define how you want the deposit, uh, sorry, the, the payment plan to work in terms of the usage. So you might want to only apply this to the tuition, which would be the price of the class, or you can assign it to the full amount in case you do have any extra services. If you only do it for the tuition label, that means that anything else that might be considered an extra service will be charged at the time of registration. And then you can also <clears throat> choose which are the programs that you want to be make eligible for this payment plan. You can choose all programs or you can choose specific programs from this dropdown. Next, you'll have eligible users. Um, the most common approach here is that you'll say all users. Um, however, if you have a, any unique case where you're creating a payment plan for a particular family, you will be able to assign it to, to a family account. That means that only that family will see the payment plan when they're doing the registration. And then finally, you are going to define how you want the charges to, to work. If you choose automatic, that just means that we'll automatically take the payment um, from the card that's on file. We do send a reminder uh, prior to doing so. Or if you choose the only send payment reminder, then we just send it, this by email and that email itself will have a, a payment option. Um, if uh, needed, you can add a additional fee as a payment plan fee. This one is optional. And finally, you can assign the expiration date. Uh, once you click save, you're good to go. And you can create multiple different payment plans if you want to have more than one option at the checkout. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.